So now I want to show you a um, program that uses while loops to good advantage. So let's open up Excel. And um, I have a program called Double My Money here. So first let me show you what it does. Uh, it starts out with an amount of principal. This doesn't really matter. Uh, but now I'm going to say, let's say my annual interest is 7%. What it does is it shows me how much money I'll have using compound interest each year until I get up to where I double my money. So you can see here that at 7% it takes 11 years to double my money. Now what if I'm getting 12%? Ah, it only takes 7 years, much better. On the other hand, if I'm getting a really crummy interest rate like 2%, oh my gosh, my gosh, it takes... Uh, 36 years to double my money. So you can see what a huge difference it makes depending on the interest rate you have. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the code and how we did that. So we'll go to the Developer tab and over to Visual Basic. And um, I'll right click here and view the code. All right, and here's the code. So uh, I have the principal, the interest, and so on. So the first thing I do is set up the list box, I clear it, and I add uh, the year, the heading that says year, a couple of tabs, and then the amount. I get the input, the amount of principal, and the amount of interest from the text boxes. And I convert the interest to a fraction by dividing by 100. So the user doesn't have to write 0.07, they can just put 7 if they want 7%. Okay, now we're going to start with no years to begin with. And um, we want to remember what the principal is so we can compare uh, to it and see when we've doubled. But at the same time, we need to have another variable to uh, start accumulating all our compound interest. So for that, we'll use a variable called new principal. So each year, what I do is I say, okay, I'm going to multiply the new principal times 1 plus the interest rate. And that gives me my new version of the new principal. So to start with, I'm starting with the actual principal the first time. And then each time it's building, compounding on what it had before. And each time I increase the years by 1, I put the output into the list box until the new principal is greater than or equal to 2 times the principal, at which point I stop. So um, the other thing, how do I get that 1,000 to show up in the uh, form when it first comes up? By using this user form initialize procedure. Now this is a good use for a do loop. It's actually a do until because I don't know in advance how many years it's going to take. Now I could have just set it up to do 20 or 30 years and then I could look scan through and see when it doubles. But it's much nicer to be able to do it this way and just have it go as long as I want. Okay, so um, have fun with this. Uh, it's really kind of interesting uh, what a huge difference it makes, um, just a percent of, percentage point or two on your interest. And coming from the other end, this is a good reason why it pays to refinance your mortgage if interest rates go down. Okay, so have fun. <laughs>